Sifu is basically martial arts infused Dark Souls. As someone who avoids every Souls game but has more than 9 years of real life experience in karate, I wanted to know how deadly my empty hand could be in a virtual world. So sit back and enjoy my suffering. This is Sifu, presented by Glance at Games. Eight years ago. And there's somebody on the roof. And there we are. We start right into the action. I really like the complementary contrast between the warm light over the entrance and the blue light at the parking lot for the bikes. I know there is a different term for this, but I cannot really come up with it at the moment. So if I do any major mistakes, feel free to correct me in the comment section because I want to use this entire video content creation project not only for your entertainment and showing you the best out of the game world but also to improve my English skills because English of course is not my native language and I hope that I will improve with each upcoming video but now we have to open the door I cannot open the door properly I have to use a heavy attack oh and there's already Somebody waiting for me. Deflect parry. LB. And light attack. And then YB. What was that? And we took him out. Easy as that. Our first enemy. Uh, by the way, I'm playing on an Xbox controller. I do not have a PlayStation 5 controller yet, but I would love to use one in the future because I'm more used to the button layout on a PlayStation controller than on an Xbox controller. Get out of my way. Leave him to me. All right, so we're basically doing just the basic attacks. Hopefully everything goes fine. Oh, I like the martial art aesthetic here. Oh, I have to be careful right at the beginning. People are attacking very fast. So, three more to go. Who wants to attack first? I like that it's not unnecessarily brutal, like it is a decent amount of brutality, but nothing you wouldn't see in, in a real martial arts match. Like this move is definitely taken out from, I think it's Ip Man. I don't know how the movie title translation is in English. It's the very famous movie with uh, Donnie Yen and there is a similar scene where he is surrounded by students or disciples and he is taking them out one by one. I haven't said anything about the art style, but especially the painterly faces really remind me of Arcane, which is a good thing because Arcane is, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful series on Netflix. Thought you said they'd put up a fight. I'm barely breaking a sweat. Yeah, you're so tough, bro. I like the style. I like the all black everything, the hoodie and the cap. The hoodie and the cap would fit me pretty well. This is how I normally walk around with a hoodie and a cap. Multiple people laying on the ground, holding their arms and legs and everything. Can I punch him? No. And I cannot punch a cigarette. Hey, dude, smoking kills. And here we are. This seems to be the main building of the complex. Maybe the big dojo for the disciples and masters. <gasps> I caught it! Bitch! Wow! <laughs> okay, I didn't expect this kind of reflex from me, because I do not remember anything of this. The layout of the rooms and the lighting is so well done. It feels so good to walk through the uh, through these levels. Very nice environment art. Woo! Okay, I'm slowly getting used to it again, so I can dodge sideways, can push in even further. All right. And we are outside again. Also the complementary contrast from the warm insides and the cold outside. Very well done. Where is he? Okay, those people are dead. He isn't playing games. He killed all these students. I think they're students. How dare you? This time I will 
do what I must. Our first boss fight. All right, we let him attack and go for dodges. Oh, he's kicking our ass. I mean, he's a Sifu, so... He's fast! He's so fast! Jesus! So, how are his attack patterns? One, two, three. Oh, he's going in with four sometimes, okay. Yeah, it's not my type of game. Cut me some slack here. Need to learn everything. And he is the first boss, and the other ones will be way more difficult, so let me figure out a few things, play with him, master the controls. He's sending us to the floorboards. I cannot even... <laughs> His face. <laughs> I'm getting my ass kicked by a senior. <laughs> this is the tutorial boss and I'm getting my ass handed over here. This is so unusual for me, playing these kind of games and being very, very, very careful. I started good with keeping my distance, but this is no option anymore. And we still got our ass handed in the cutscene. But this seems to be phase two. Epic rain fight coming right up. I'm on the floor again. That guy is so fast, I cannot even. We need to parry e way more. We are avoiding heavy attacks. I'm afraid that he is uh, parrying me and sending me back on my bottom again. And heavy attack. Nice combo. I should concentrate on the fight, but I dig the scenery, the reflections and everything, even without RTX effects. Still very nice to look at. But we still made it. Show yourself. Choose your character. We can play as a boy or a girl. You know what? Normally I would take the boy, but let's do things different here and we go with the girl. This looks so much like Arcane, I can't even. But in the most positive way possible. But by a miracle, we are still alive. What an introduction to this game. And there's the title card. We made it to the title card. <laughs> and look at the lighting and the shading. I love the painterly look. I mean, you guys do not know me that well, but I can tell you I love comics. I love traditional art and everything that has to do with craftsmanship and artistic products. And this is so well done. The little details. I think this was the only reason why I chose to play this game after watching the trailer like one and a half years ago. I mean, I said it in the beginning, but the entire Souls-like, Souls-born genre is not my cup of tea. I try to avoid these games as much as I can, although I often dig the artistic side. I have two art books, one of Bloodborne and one, I think it's Dark Souls 1 or 2, because I really envy the people there working on the uh, enemy and boss designs. These are some great character designers and character artists. I chose this game because I have, like I said in the intro, I have more than nine years of experience in karate and karate is, in my opinion, it's not a martial art like you would maybe imagine when you think about Kung Fu or Ninjutsu or something like that. Karate is more of a philosophy combined with self-defense techniques. Because the word Karate means empty hand if you translate it. And an empty hand can be, <laughs> when you're talking to the right person, a weapon of course, but you are not really attacking anybody. Like the open hand, the empty hand is not holding any weapon, is not doing any harm. 
we are just doing or trying to do self-defense. Maybe this differs. There are different types of karate and I did Shotokan. Maybe you did uh, something else. So if there are any people in the comments who were into martial arts or whatsoever, let me know what you've been practicing and maybe we can do a little exchange in the comment section below. And here we are. I mean, how beautiful does this look? Yeah, exactly. Uh, you see? Already better. Already better. Yeah, oh my god. Thank you. So much better. This was a good tactical decision. I have to applaud myself. This door is still closed, right? Yeah. Okay, maybe we can find a key in this level and then open this again. One, two. Oh, this feels so much better. This feels so good. And parry. Using the environment to my advantage. Best decision ever made. Oh, <laughs> we, hit we hit each other at the same time. <laughs> nice timing coincident. Oh my god, I'm so much better with the new combinations, uh, with the button rebound. Here, catch. Nice, let's go. And I'm dead. I'm dead. But this was still a good run. This was a good run. I think we died two times. <laughs> Look at this pile of bodies. <laughs> but what I find very interesting is the fact that those people are reacting so nonchalant when we are rising from the dead, basically. So we are dying. We are just getting back up and they are like, oh, so you're back for a second round? Never mind. All right. What is this now? Why is he on fire? Okay. And he's attacking way faster than before. Jesus. What kind of uh, state is that? Is he in the zone and this doesn't burn down at all? So he stays in the zone in the state all the time. I thought this was like his ultimate ability, which uh, holds up for 10 seconds or something. Oh, uh, this hurts so much. I know you enjoy watching me suffer. This is so it's not satisfying. It's unsatisfying. It's unsatisfying. It's disappointing. Oh. And now my game froze or something? Oh, my game crashed. Nice. I think the game crashed for a reason. I wasn't in a very stable mental state. And this is my mental reset now. So we are getting back into the fight. And hopefully everything's fine. Approach this fight with positive energy. Ah! And he is able to spin so fast. We are like right behind him. And he is like spinning in the middle of his, uh, of his attack. Ah! I'm doing the inputs. Okay, we decreased our death counter. This is good. But the leg sweep is still a technique that isn't working properly. Like up, down, there. Now it's now it's okay. You see? Here, up, down, up, down. Okay, there's already another attack in between. Oh, and there's a shrine. So, and we can unlock things. H30, max H to unlock. Health gained on takedowns. Increase health gained on takedowns. I think this is, this is important. Let's go with this. Oh, who is this? Oh, a big guy. Oh my god, he one shots us. Or oh, two shots or two hits, however you call it in these type of games. Oh my god, those attacks fill up our parry bars so quick. But his is already full, so he shouldn't be able to parry anything. So, and let's go for final attack. Let's go, and decreasing our death counter. Club flyer. I think this is the club flyer is the teaser for the next level. So the next level should be the nightclub. Phew. You won't believe it, but I'm like mentally exhausted from playing this game. It is fun. Don't get me wrong, it is fun. I do not have to force myself to play this, but it is mentally challenging. Like, 
doing all these combinations, there's less room for making mistakes. Although we are just playing on the normal difficulty. And I know, guys, it's nothing compared to original Dark Souls. But still, it is Souls-like in a way. I mean, this is exactly why people say this is the martial arts Dark Souls. Oh my god, oh, 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 gotta go, gotta go. I just wanted to say perfect blocks and everything. And then I'm getting my ass handed. Let's go. And we got a bunch of keys. Moving through the warehouse will be a lot easier with the keys. Oh, I think this is for the main entrance door that we have been passing by the last time. So, and there we are. And again, I know I have already said it 10 times or so, but the lighting is beautiful. I love the grunge on the window textures, that it's not perfectly clean. Could spend hours just looking at different objects and assets. Ah, and I'm dead. Shit. Yeah, but it, it felt good. The beginning felt very good. Like taking out the three people at the beginning and, and stuff. We are, we are making progress here. And we got it. Let's go. Death counter, zero. How things should be. Okay, the 11th time. Why is the lighting so beautiful? This game has no reason to look this great. And I'm not even playing on 2K textures or whatever. This is 1080p right in front of my eyes, in front of my 24 inch monitor, which is like three to four years old. And this picture looks good. It looks so good. Okay, let's look at his movement patterns. Okay, he's doing like a fast double attack. Oh, this fills it up so, so fast. Okay, build up momentum. He's dodging a lot. So, one. Woo! My bar is full. My bar is full! Run! Run, 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 run! Oh, I'm, I'm in a corner. I'm in a corner. I would love to... How far is he able to jump? Holy shit! Half of a Spider-Man over here. How do people do a no-hit run on this? Holy shit! I really, I'm bowing in front of everyone who is doing this game on a no hit run, dodging everything. This spider monkey like botanist guy is jumping 10 feet in the air, 20 feet far, giving you a high kick whatsoever. Who is dodging this, no problem, and he's who is not breaking a sweat. You have all the respect I can come up with. And now I need the leg sweep. And now I need the leg... I would love to do the leg sweep here. But I can't. And I don't know why. I don't know why the leg sweep is not working. Or at least one out of ten times. He's attacking me. And there we are. First stage. Done. Oh no. Welcome to the jungle. Woo. One. One. Two. Ah, shit. Okay, we need to get up. 28. Ice strike. It's so difficult to dodge. Holy shit. I'm only parrying. No. Okay, now I dodged. Ah, oh, 31. Happy birthday to me. I have spent eight long years preparing for this. Did we kill him? We killed him. We made it. Yes. <laughs> what a struggle, dude. What a struggle. But at least we get rewarded not only with the killing of our first name that we can cross from the list. We get rewarded with a beautiful sunrise over the dojo. And again, the team behind this game, re they really knew what they were doing. And let's continue with the club. All right, here we are. Forget about it. If you're not on the list, you're not getting inside. Ah, uh, let me do the talking. And let's see how the club looks like. I need to buy the artwork. Oh yes, and now the music kicking in. 
that's great. Yeah, I try to be more careful. I try to be more careful. I'm already 31 and I don't want to increase my age counter unnecessarily. This one, he's down. <sighs> oh, yes! Oh, who's she? No, go away. Let me be on your 10 inch high heels. Oh, she's fast. She's fast. Holy shit. Oh, she's dodging those things so hard. Holy shit. Okay, don't be too cocky. That's all that that always gets us killed. That always gets us killed. Shit. Her legs are so long. Seven foot legs. Do you see Miss, L Miss Long Leg? What kind of legs is are those? Holy shit. Monkey D. Ruffy called. He wants his gummy legs back. Damn, son. <laughs> Did she kill him? <laughs> Friendly fire. All right. I think this guy is just cleaning glasses. He's not involved. Yep. These are the bad guys. Those are two giants. And I bet they both have this kind of attack where they try to grapple you and throw you to the ground. So... And I did the combination again, and it didn't work. I fucking love it. Oh, and there's a weapon. Oh, I need the health, bro. And again! And again! Holy shit, what should I press?! Ah! Uh, I can't, I can't, bro, I can't. Uh. This is so demanding for my mental health. I sound whiny, I know. I sound whiny and I sound very... But it's more disappointment because I see how great this game can be when everything works fine, when your combinations go together and everything. But the point is my leg sweep doesn't work in... 8 out of 10 cases and the the blocking and everything this is fine but also the fact that when I'm outside and I'm performing the dodging everything is fine as soon as I'm in a fight and I stop pressing any other buttons sometimes I'm just standing there and try to dodge on the spot just to see if it's if, if it's working and it doesn't I'm always getting this kind of parry animation and I don't want to parry when I want to parry I parry when I want to dodge I dodge simple as that one or two there's nothing in between when I'm pressing one I don't want to get the same result as I'm pe pressing two so we kick their asses but to be honest we were struggling a lot and there's no shame in saying it this is just me reflecting on the last two and a half hours that I have been spending in this recording session but overall I would love you guys for those people who have played Zifu maybe way for further than I did to give me a few tips because I will come back to this definitely and do a second session so please write me any tips you have any animation cancels any little tips and tricks you know in the comments below and I will read them carefully and I will try to implement them in the second session but let's continue further And the rest of the story? Well, you have to experience it all for yourself. The animations are great, the art style is appealing. I am glad I took this challenge, although I need some rest after this session. A question for my Sifu players here. What has been your favorite move in the game? Let me know it in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in and if you enjoyed yourself here and plan on coming back, be sure to subscribe and like the video. And if stealth games are more your thing, then I might have the perfect video to watch next for you. Stay safe, play fair and keep gaming.